It's time for English on the go, which means we're going to look at a clip sent to us from a native speaker who could be anywhere in the world. And today, our native speaker is Kelsey, and she's from Australia. 네, 호주에 사는 Kelsey 씨에게 이야기 들어보겠습니다. Kelsey 씨는 여러분 몇번 보셨는데요. Mm-hmm. 말이 빠른 편입니다. Yes, yeah, 네. she speaks very, very fast. 네, 그러니까 특히 더 주의 기울여서 들어주시고요. Kelsey 씨 이야기 바로 들으러 가보죠. Kelsey 씨, 나와주세요. I think that there are a lot of times that things can get really out of hand. One of the times that was common for me um, was when I was studying at university. Um, And this was common for a lot, a lot of students as well. Everyone would always talk about it. You have a list of assignments that you have to do for the semester and everyone would leave it till the last minute. And then when you've got two weeks left of university, Of, for the semester, you just have all this work to do and you're freaking out because you didn't do it in time so now you've got so much work to do and you can't have fun and you have to stay up late every night and I think if you just prepare and you do your assignments as they come instead of leaving it to pile up then it won't get out of hand like that where you reach the point where you just, you're up you're not sleeping at all because you're just doing all your work and you're trying to get things done Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, I can relate to that. In university, there were many times I left everything for the last minute. I was in high school, and in high school, there was a lot of panic in high school. I used to have a lot of panic in high school. I used to have a lot of panic in high s c h o o 아무튼 누구나 공감할 수 있는 그런 스토리였던 것 같습니다. k e l s e 씨가 어떤 단어들을 실제로 썼는지 같이 공부 시작해 보죠. Okay. Let's look at the first line first. I think that there are a lot of times that things can get really out of hand. I think that there are a lot of times that things can get really out of hand. I think that there are a lot of times. 많은 시기, mm-hmm. 많은 상황이 있는 것 같습니다. Mm-hmm. That things can get really out of hand. Mm-hmm. Get out of hand, 그냥 쓰지 않고 get really, really? out of hand. 이렇게 강조할 수도 있겠네요. Mm-hmm. 그래서 감당할 수 없게 되다, mm-hmm. 과도해지다. 다시 한번 get out of hand. 네. Or get really out of hand. Yeah, get terribly out of hand. Or really get out of hand. You could put it in the beginning. 네, 앞에 really를 또뺄 수도 mm-hmm. 있겠네요. 그래서 감당할 수 없는 상황은 여러 가지가 있을 수 있는 것 같아요. Mm-hmm. 라고 이야기를 시작했고요. 다음 문장입니다. Mm-hmm. One of the times that was common for me um, was when I was studying at university. One of the times that was common for me was when I was studying at university. 자, 흔한이라고 할때 어떤 단어로 써요? She said common 음. for me. Common. Common. Mm-hmm. Common. Come on 아니고 common. <웃음> come on. <웃음> 네, 그래서 common이라고 카 쪽에 강세가 있습니다. Mm-hmm. common 하면 흔한 거고요. Mm-hmm. 그래서 common이 자주 들어가는 이 표현들이 많은데 mm-hmm. common sense라는 게 있어요. Yeah, there's common sense. 음. Things that we think people already know, like don't put your hand on the fire. That's common sense. <웃음> yes. Um, I think most people would agree that yes. it's common sense <웃음> uh-huh. that you shouldn't put of your fingers in fire. Yes. <웃음> 그래서 일반 상식 누구나 알고 있는 거 누구나 이런 게 맞지라고 생각하는 거 common sense 또는 mm-hmm. common, common knowledge. knowledge. Common knowledge. 이럴 때 이제 common을 쓰고요. Mm-hmm. 그래서 uh, one of the times that was common for me 저한테 있어서 흔했던 상황 중 하나는 mm-hmm. 첫 번째 문장에서도 여기에서 time이 이제 situation의 의미로 쓰이고 있어요. Mm-hmm. Uh, for me, was when I was studying at university. Mm-hmm. 대학에서 공부할 때였습니다. Mm-hmm. And let's find out more next. Um, and this was common for a lot, a lot of students as well. Everyone would always talk about it. And this was common for a lot, a lot of students as well. Everyone would always talk about it. 그리고 이것은 this was common for a lot of students as well. Mm-hmm. Not for me only. No, not just for me, but for a lot of other students. 그렇죠. 저뿐만이 아니라 a lot of students as well. Mm-hmm. 많은 학생들에게 있어서도 그러니까 다른 사람들에게도 흔한 일이었습니다. 라고 하면서요. Mm-hmm. 많은을 강조한다고 a lot of를 두번 쓰는 대신에 mm-hmm. a lot만 두번 썼어요. Mm-hmm. A lot, a lot of students. Do you, do you often say a lot of, a lot of, or? No, that just felt really weird when you said yeah. a lot of, a lot of. Usually just a lot, a lot, 
of whatever it is. A lot of를 두번 쓰게 되면요. A lot of, a lot of 이렇게 하게 되면 약간 말 실수한 느낌. Yeah, it feels like you made some type of mistake. So mm. if you're going to do that, then just a lot, a lot of. It sounds more natural. 그렇죠. 그리고 더 강조를 하고 싶다면 a lot, a lot of를 말을 하되 mm-hmm. a lot, a lot of 두 번째 lot을 좀더 크게 말해 주시면 됩니다. Yeah. <웃음> <웃음> 그래서 everyone would always talk about it. 모두가 이것에 대해서 이야기를 하곤 했답니다. Mm-hmm. 다음 문장. You have a list of assignments that you have to do for the semester and everyone would leave it till the last minute. You have a list of assignments that you have to do for the semester and everyone would leave it till the last minute. 과제, 숙제라고 할때 또는 임무라고 할때 영어로 mm-hmm. Assignment. 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 Mm-hmm. 그리고 마지막 순간 또는 마감 직전. <웃음> last minute or the last minute. Ma- last minute. 사실 하루 이틀 이렇게 날짜별로 생각을 할 때에도 이것을 yeah. last day라고 하는 것도 나쁘진 않아요. 틀린 건 아닌데요. Last minute 하면 진짜 마감 직전에 임박해서 라는 의미가 더 살게 됩니다. Mm-hmm. 그래서 마지막까지 till the last minute 이렇게 표현을 해줬고요. 문장의 뜻을 같이 보시면은 You have a list of assignments. Mm-hmm. 목록을 실제로 말하는 건 아니고 몇 개. Yeah. yeah. So you just have many that you have to do. Yeah. Right. 몇 개가 있는데 과제들이 몇개 있는데 that you have to do for the semester. 그 학기 내에 해야 하는 것들이 있는데 and everyone would leave it. 남겨둘 거예요. They would leave it. So they wouldn't do it. Yes. Right. Till the last minute. Yep. 마지막 순간까지 미뤄뒀대요. 그리고 mm-hmm. and then. When you've got two weeks left of university of, for the semester. And then, when you've got two weeks left of university for the semester. 마지막에 그 for the semester 부분을 좀 생각을 하다가 붙여줬는데요. 그 이유는 And then, when you've got. When you've got 이라는 것은 when you have. have. 지금 갖고 있을 때. Yes, you have mm. it right now. Have you got a pen? 하면 um, No, yeah, I don't 이렇게. have a pen. 이런 대화, A, B 대화. 똑같이? Do you have a pen? 이렇게 물어볼 수 있는데요. 현재 갖고 있는 것도 have got 이라고도 많이 mm-hmm. 표현을 해줍니다. 그래서 when you have two weeks left, 2주가 남았어요. Mm-hmm. 근데 뭐가 2주 남았죠? Of university. 네. 근데 university가 2주 남았다? 어떻게 이 대학이 2주가 남는 거지? Right. 즉, your university life or the time at university. Yeah, so if you just said two weeks left at university, you think, oh, you're going to graduate in 맞아요. two weeks. So 네. you're like, finished. 그렇죠. 여기까지만 들으면 은 이제 대학이 2주 남았다는 거니까 mm-hmm. 이제 졸업 직전인데요. 근데 그래서 아, 이게 아니지 하면서 for, for the semester. 그렇죠. 그 학기예요. 그 학기가 2주 남았을 때가 되면 이라는 말입니다. Mm-hmm. So when you've got two weeks left of university for the semester, then what? We find out next. Mm-hmm. You just have all this work to do and you're freaking out because you didn't do it in time. You just have all this work to do and you're freaking out because you didn't do it in time. 여기에 재밌는 표현, 자제력을 잃다. Freak out! 네. Freak out! Freak out! Oh my God. What do I do? I don't, I don't have time! What 네. do I do? 딱 이거죠. 자제력을 <웃음> 잃는 것뿐만이 아니라 정말 당황하다. Mm-hmm. Panic! 하는 yeah. 거예요. When you're panicking, like, you really do, okay, 음. okay. 맞아요. 그래서 또 비슷한 뜻으로 쭉 생각해 보면 여러 가지 상황에 적용할 수 있는데 mm-hmm. 갑자기 화를 심하게 내는 것도 freak out 하는 거죠. Yeah, so a lot of times when we're teenagers and we're hiding something from our parents, yeah. we would say if my mom knew she would freak out. <웃음> 그렇게 생각할 수도 있고요. 엄마가 yeah. 아시면 정말 화를 정말 많이 내실 텐데 또는 yeah. 내거 만지지 마. 이거 이거 내가 어제 산 거야. 여기 기순하면 안 돼. 라고 mm-hmm. 했을 때 맞았어요. 친구가 막 손댔어요. 그래서 고장났어요. 그러면 freak out 할수 있죠. Yeah. 버럭 화를 내는 건데요. I would freak out for sure. 네, 그래서 어, you just have all this work to do. 할 일이 이렇게나 많고 mm-hmm. and you are freaking out. 진짜 막 어떻게 해야 되는지 모르겠는 거죠. Mm-hmm. Because you didn't do it in time. Mm-hmm. 제 시간이 안 했기 때문에 너무너무 일이 많아요. Mm-hmm. 그래서 다음 문장 보시죠. So now you've got so much work to do and you can't have fun and you have to stay up late every night. So now you've got so much work to do and you can't have fun and you have to stay up late every night. 네, 물론 이제 now you've got so much work to do, 할 일이 정말 많다 이렇게 mm-hmm. 번역을 했고요. 여기서 말하는 일이라는 것은 그 직업으로서의 일이라기보다는 그 숙제. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's the assignments that she has to do for 네. her university. 네, 학생으로서는 work라고 하면 일한다는 뜻도 있어요. 그렇지만 mm-hmm. 공부한다라는 뜻, 그 숙제를 한다는 뜻도 있기 때문에 mm-hmm. 잘 보시고요. And you can't have fun. 재밌게 놀 수도 mm-hmm. 없고 지금 숙제가 너무 많기 때문에 and you have to stay up late every night. 네, 매일 밤 늦게까지 해야 돼요. Mm-hmm. Stay up late. <웃음> If you stay up all night, it's 밤을 새다. Yes, that means you didn't sleep at all. Mm-hmm. You just went directly about yeah. your day. 네, 매일, But if you stay up late, yeah. you did go to sleep. Yes. You just went to sleep in the middle of the night. 네, 새벽에 잠든 거예요. Right. 그래서 밤 늦게까지 매일 밤 숙제를 해야 됩니다. Mm-hmm. And then? And I think if you just prepare and you do your assignments as they come instead of leaving it to pile up, And I think if you just prepare and you do your assignments as they come instead of leaving it to pile up. 그리고 제 생각에 I think if you just prepare, mm-hmm. 준비를 해서 mm-hmm. and you do your assignments, 과제를 한다면 mm-hmm. 그 다음이 중요해요. Yes, she said do your assignments as they come. Mm-hmm. As they come. As they come. Mm-hmm. As they come. Mm-hmm. 그들이 옴에 따라 아니면 그들이 올때 어떤 쪽이냐 하면 그들이 올 때. Yes. As라는 건 전, 정말 많은 의미가 있는데요. Mm-hmm. Because도 있고 mm-hmm. when, mm-hmm. while, and yeah. being someone. Right. As someone else, right? Yeah. As a teacher, mm-hmm. I think. 이렇게. 여기서는 이제 while. Yeah. In this case, it's while. So mm. while they come or when they come, just do it there. 네. Don't wait. 그렇죠. 숙제가 들어오는 족족, 숙제가 들어올 때마다 라는 뜻으로 그래서 좀더 구체적으로 바꿔보면 as they come 대신에 as assignments come, come 또는 or as assignments are given 숙제를 받았을 때 바로 하면 uh-huh. uh, instead of leaving it to pile up 숙제가 사이드로 놔두지 않고 바로바로 바로 그때 그때 하면 그 다음 문장 볼까요? Uh-huh. Then it won't get out of hand like that where you reach the point where you just you're up Then it won't get out of hand like that where you reach the point where you just you're up. 네, you're up. 까지 했고 그다음에 말을 좀 바꾸고 있어요. Mm-hmm. 그런데 아무튼 it won't reach it won't get out of hand like that. Mm-hmm. 그렇게 어, 감당 못할 지경은 안될 거고요. Mm-hmm. where 그 상황에서 어떻게 되냐면 where you reach the point 네. where you just where you reach the point where 앞부분 get out of hand는 충분히 이해하셨고요. Mm-hmm. Reach the point where. Mm-hmm. Point라는 것은 어떤 지점, 시점을 가리켜요. 그래서 mm-hmm. point까지 간다. Mm-hmm. Reach the point where 뒤에 주어, 동사를 쓰면 은그 지경까지 간다라는 말이 돼요. 그, 좀 mm-hmm. 부정적으로 말했을 때. She reached the point where she needed other people's help. Mm-hmm. 이렇게 말, 만들 수도 있겠고요. Reach the point where. 꼭 기억해 주세요. Mm-hmm. 자, 그러면 reach the point where 한 다음에 그 다음 문장에서는 어느 무, 무엇을 할 지경까지 갔는지 볼까요? Yeah, let's see. You're not sleeping at all because you're just doing all your work and you're trying to get things done. So she said reach the point where that you're not sleeping at all because you're just doing all your work and you're trying to get things done. Reach the point where 한 다음에 that은 원래는 필요 없어요. Right. Usually you don't say that, but 음. I think she's trying to change her sentence a little bit. 앞에 이제 you're up 이런 것도 있어가지고 right. 이제 that 그냥 넣은 건데요. 사실 굳이 필요하진 않습니다. You're not sleeping at all. 잠을 mm-hmm. 전혀 못 자요. Yeah. Because you're just doing all your work. 숙제를 막 하고 있기 때문에 mm-hmm. 다 하려고 하고 있기 때문에 and you're trying to get things done. Mm-hmm. 일을 마무리하려고 노력하느라고 어, 잠을 못 자는 지경까지 갈 수가 있습니다. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's definitely a situation where things are out of hand. Yes. We've all been there, I think. Mm-hmm. So why don't we take a look at her clip one more time to review. I think that there are a lot of times that things can get really out of hand. One of the times that was common for me um, was when I was studying at university. Um, and this was common for a lot, a lot of students as well. Everyone would always talk about it. You have a list of assignments that you have to do for the semester and everyone would leave it till the last minute. And then when you've got two weeks left of university, Of, for the semester, you just have all this work to do and you're freaking out because you didn't do it in time so now you've got so much work to do and you can't have fun and you have to stay up late every night and I think if you just prepare and you do your assignments as they come instead of leaving it to pile up then it won't get out of hand like that where you reach the point where you just, you're up you're not sleeping at all because you're just doing all your work and you're trying to get things done 